This is the energy vibration reading for um, the Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please check out the full moon readings. The full moon readings are out for the month of July, August, and September. Check out the, also the extended deal because there's a lot of information for you, Pisces. You, Pisces, need to use the water, the zodiac energy of water. That's where your message is. This week is the week of the star, and with the energy of the star, what is here? What transpired for you guys with the energy of the star is that um, the first um, uh, five days is, uh, yeah, um, four days is the energy of here, and the rest of the days is the energy of water. So let's look what is coming out for the Pisces. Pisces, okay, so. Um, you young men are here in your reading and there is the energy of the magician go ahead whatever you were thinking of doing um, you young men lies whatever lies and deception there is it's going to be coming out the nine of wands is here um, you have to make a decision you men have to make a decision and strength is here um, so some of you definitely have to make a decision and you're dealing with the king of pentacles and um, the world so who will be for you Pisces I swear I swear I swear I swear I haven't seen the world um, coming up in this week so you're only um, you have the magician and the world which is just so fantastic and strength the magician the world and strength now what this is saying is that you guys have what it takes to make things happen for you okay you definitely have that there is no question you definitely have that especially you young men you definitely have what it takes to uh, make things happen whatever lies and deception there was it's definitely going to be coming out i'm seeing you stand in your ground and you're ready for anything that happened you need to make a decision and you need to make a decision now so we have the energy of the young men coming out so um, definitely you young men have to make a decision some of you have made a decision you're finding strength so number eight is going to be the energy vibration remember eight um, is the infinity symbol okay and the tower is coming down on you young men as, as if the tower already um, happened the tower moment already happened and now you realize you have to make a decision okay so let's look at the energy of the magician the energy of the magician is here and what is transpiring is that nine of wands again eight and nine comes up and uh, your wishes and dreams is definitely going to come in success is going to come in so whatever is transpiring you guys is as if uh, you have manifest something you have created something and this is going to work out in your best benefit okay so the energy of the magician is always uh, you have something you're doing something you're working on something you're manifesting something and it's a yes go ahead because you're protected this is going to work out the ten of uh, lies and the lies lies and they're all coming out um lies um they're all coming out so whatever was going on there was some lies about money and it is all coming out there was some lies about money and it is all coming out you have the energy of eight and nine but whatever the lies and deception was is and it has um the queen you know you guys um you ladies whatever is going on you ladies um at work some of you ladies at work um you're protected okay some of you ladies at work you're protected you're very much protected from whatever is going on at work okay you could be a boss um however the way you come up you ladies you Pisces ladies at work you're very much protected you have to make a decision okay and you're going to be speaking your truth and speaking up clearly and you're going to be making a decision so what I'm seeing here is that some of you Pisces 
could be in love with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn 45 years and older and you two are going to be having a community um, are going to be communicating with each other and because you have to make a decision and it is a sense that you're making a decision um, you both have to make a decision what is it going to be um, are we going to pick up where we left off or are we um, going to be um, taking a go on this relationship and a decision needs to be made okay and I'm going to look at this because uh, to find out uh, because there's communication between you and a lady that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you're making some plans you're definitely making some plans and you want to know something so let's see what is the ace of swords the queen of pentacles and the four of um, swords it's all about uh, this is a karmatic relationship that has been going on um, some luck is definitely going to be coming in um, there was some deception okay and I think a theft has taken place and it's as if you're letting this lady know that it's some deception that you have found out and a theft was taken place okay strength is here so let's see what the energy I'm seeing a new offer is coming in um, where is this new offer is coming from um, um, someone is going to be offering you um, something and you're wondering if this is good for some of you um, someone wants to have a child or someone wants to connect with you but they have a child and you're wondering if this is what I want um, so someone is definitely connecting with you and wants to connect with you but they have a child and for some of you you're going to be wondering is this what I want the king um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is here and it's a yes if you have met someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man is is a yes this is a new love that is coming in your life it is a yes um, go ahead with this relationship there's a lot of jealousy um, there is definitely a lot of jealousy so some of you um, who have girlfriend and these three little bitches is I've been coming up okay so it's as if some judgment call or some balance is going to be coming in okay and a new start is going to be coming up for some of you so some of you that was off balance of cast of balance a new balance is going to be coming up i'm seeing um you know these earth sign people are coming in your life and it's for a reason because that is where your twin flame and soul flame are they're definitely coming in your life and uh, especially the women are going to be meeting a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and the universe is saying yes it is the energy of the star the universe is saying yes this is the person for you go for it but there are some little gossip bitches these three little gossip bitches this is not about celebration this is about some really disturbing little bitches that is there okay so be aware of that some of you who are in relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, lady 45 years and older there is a lot of gossip that is going on and you know people needs to people needs to you know really find their own shit and stop gossiping over other people's stuff because there is these these three person has been coming up okay and um, for the ladies you have some friends they're not really happy for what is happening but go ahead with this man because this man um, this this man is really in love with you this this new man that you're going to be meeting is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn 45 years or old he really cares about you for you men some of you men have been wondering for quite some time what is it what should I do you are going to be having a clear conversation with a Capricorn uh, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and uh, with this clear communication because this is someone who you have known for a very long time you could have been in a relationship with this person 
and be with clear communication you're going to be um, showing your ends and you're gonna say hey because you have been for a long time deciding whether or not you should go in a relationship with this person or continue the relationship with this person and I think true communication now you are going to be making that decision because this is a karmatic link between you and this person and surprisingly something surprisingly is going to be coming out of this conversation because it's going to give you a new start with this person because um, you're going to be realizing that definitely this person um, is there um, and you know it's as if you 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 definitely love this person whoever you are you're deeply in love with this person but there has been so much issues and the relationship has been off cast for some time and you're not a, you're you're not sure what direction to go you have been also playing the fields to be honest with yourself and now you're thinking that you know I'm gonna be um, open with this person I, I can't I this person is always on my mind I need to be honest and let this person know exactly what has happened and what has transpired and you're going to be opening up to this person I think by opening up with this person if you were in a relationship with this person this person is gonna say okay so since as you have someone okay then it's fine you know life goes on you know I wish you all the luck which is that surprising um, that is a very surprising thing that is going to come in on the other end some of you are going to be receiving an offer but there is a child that is involved with this offer and you have to find inner strength and you're wondering do I want to get in an issue or a situation like this and you're seeing the truth about the child and you're wondering you know should I take this road but a lot of luck is going to come in especially with business people um, if you're deciding to set up a business or starting something new a lot of luck is going to be coming in there is two messages here card one card two let's see what's happening um, the healer comes in so a lot of you are going to be communicating and healing a relationship or a karmatic relationship so it says um, loving and compassion and able to bring healing to others so it's definitely a week of healing where you are going to be bringing healing to other people for the young people it's really a week where you need to find the healing also the second message is that find your bliss and this is wonderful I'm loving this find your bliss and it says I am following a part I love and I am fully aligned to my soul purpose so some of you are definitely going to be um, following the part of love and that and your soul for purpose but you're going to be choosing for the person who your heart goes out for this person is a person for you you're going to be really choosing I'm seeing a lot of this week is going to affect a lot of men because you men came up in the week but a lot of you are going to be connecting with the Taurus Virgo and Capricorn people that you're working out issues you ladies there is a situation that is going on at work but you are um, protected from um, these people and the situation that is going on so don't worry about it because um, it's going to be working out itself ladies and gentlemen thank you for being here and I want to say namaste until next time